Sean, a few other things have been changed along with the extension of the pilot program. Under the changes, two new qualifying conditions have been added. Terminal illness and post-traumatic stress disorder are now included on a list of about 40 other illnesses that meet the required standards. Also, medical cards for patients will now be valid for three years instead of one. A local dispensary says the change is positive and a step in the right direction for medical marijuana users. However, mental health professionals show concern about the long-term effects of medical marijuana use. We can give that reassurance to patients that we're not going to have this medicine be taken away from them. We can make sure that this law is not only going to be in place now, but hopefully will be made permanent sometime down the road. That we don't want to see it expanding into the use with people with, say, schizophrenia and other psychotic disorders because this drug is known to cause psychotic symptoms. So we, we're, we're concerned about that as well. And the dissociative symptoms that can be related to PTSD, there's concern as well. What's the marijuana's effect going to be on that as well? There hasn't been a large amount of research involving medical marijuana and how it affects those with mental illness. Through this pilot program, the state, as well as medical professionals, are hoping to look at, da look at the data and decide if medical marijuana use is helpful to those with PTSD. When I talked to the policy director at Phoenix Botanical, he said the response from patients has been overwhelmingly positive. Live in the studio, Meredith Hackler, WAND News.